Now, I have preached to y'all, and I want to tell you something. It says, when you pray, say, Our Father, which are in heaven, hallowed be that. It says, Jesus teaches us how to pray. And it came to pass that as he was praying in a certain place, when he ceased, one of his disciples said unto him, Lord, teach us to pray as John also taught his disciples. And he and I have said these things. And then he said unto them, When you pray, say, Our Father, which are in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, that we be done as in heaven, so on earth. Give us a daily, daily bread, and forgive us for our sins, for we also forgive every one that is indebted to us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. So therefore, you know, I always have been, you know, I have said this to y'all. I preached this word to y'all a while back ago. And if you don't remember, that's because, you know, but I'm not the evil one. You know what I mean? I don't go and say, you know, Jesus is your imaginary friend. I don't do that stuff. Um, I don't go out and do all kinds of things and tell you all I don't follow. Because I don't, uh, I don't, you know, what you call it? I do do the word. You can't say I don't follow the word because I do. Every single day. You, I have preached this before. In Matthew 6, 6. And I think I planted the seeds with this. And I do follow the word. I always have. You know what? I'm not against it. It's because I don't go to a certain church. And I want to tell you something. Um, people that rush. What, what's Who rushes people? You know what I mean? When you rush something. See... I'm not ashamed of the word. I will preach the word. I could read it all day. And guess what? Nobody there. And guess what? I don't do it for likes and views. I don't do things to be seen. Like I said, you know, he said, I do it differently than others. I'm not here to let my right hand be seen. But there you go. Another word. You know, see, another word that I have said many times. I told you about how Satan was. You know, I don't play angel light. You know, I'm not going to live my highlights and tell you, oh, I'm this, I'm holy and then thou. I'm not going to tell you that. I'm not here to believe in aliens. I don't believe in none of that stuff. I tell you this many times. And it, and, it, and if you look down about it, and the thing, I, I told you this stuff. I preached about money. I preached about stuff like that that some people don't, and I'll rip money in your face. Because I don't love money more than God. I love God more than money. Because if I love the money, then I want to rip it up. You understand what I mean? See, unfortunately, people's problems these days is that uh, money is their God. That's not my God. You see, and I showed you these before. Now, is it to hate? No. But there's some things, truths you need to know about me. I'm not new to this. I'm definitely no rookie. But yes, you can have a lot of people with you. And I'm not against people of God. No, I'm not. But like we all say, it's not about popularity. It's not about hatred. It's about loving and being kindful. And understand, not forceful. See, and I'm not claiming to be God. Or Jesus, because I'm not. I'm not Satan. I'm not the Antichrist. I'm Sebastian Paul Wheeler. A humble person. Now, do I have to specifically go to... Uh, any Bible or any church, and I can go to anyone I want when it feels welcome to me. And if it's as long as it's a fellowship, if, if I want to, whatever I want to, I could go without anybody holding me hostage. 
And what matters is the word. And you be calm. And we be calm and humble. But you see, and you know, and I am. And I am calm and humble. And I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I trust God. God. You know, before any man. Even myself. I trust God. I'm before myself. And I... Um, people say, I don't preach the word enough. I have. I have. Whether it's in the building or home alone. Whether at the worship, you don't see, you might not see it. But I offer my address to come to Bible study. Why don't you become the lawyer? Why, 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 why don't we? You know? You know what I mean? See, no matter where you go, God is everywhere. You know, he should he be, he be he's everywhere. We love God, who if God is for us, it could be against. So, I mean, yes. And that's the reason why, how I feel, how I feel, is I'm not mad. I don't need to seek, kill, destroy. But, it, it, see, I want to know what you guys are. Are you guys Jehovah Witness? Is people who, are you Jehovah Witness? Are you Christian? Are you this? Are you that? You see, I'm a believer before anything. John 3, 16, for God so loved the world, he gave his only begun son. Whoever believes in him shall not perish and have everlasting life. You have to be a believer before anything. I said so many things, many, many times, preach the word and everything else. And there will always be people that gang stalk you and all of this and make you like, oh, you need to do this. And I guarantee you, I guarantee you, if I do this and you can see who's controlling, it could be controlling. And I guarantee you, Direction leads the same. So it is either they are, you know, or are they. But see, God didn't say we have to wear a mask. He didn't say wear a mask. I don't believe in that mask stuff. Because were we was I born to come in this world walking every day where I go wear a mask? No, 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 no. Do I feel like I had to? No. Straight up. You believe God enough? You don't need the vaccine. Because guess what? I went to the doctors. My blood pressure was great. I'm not sick. I'm healed in the name of Jesus. I have confidence in my Lord. Do you have confidence? Because you see, I show no signs I'll say this. The same. If you're healed in the name of Jesus, he's healed for the sick, the poor. Oh, there's people that have more than me. You have a trucks. You, ha I don't have a truck. I have a bicycle. How much is your truck versus my bicycle? Now, I'm not saying to, you know, if you make money, that's cool. But... You know, I try to be careful not to serve man and God at the same time. So I'm not, I don't have the job right now. And I'm not going to, I don't have to listen to what people tell me. Because if they, and then I start letting the people tell me, I guarantee who it will lead to. See, I listen to God. You see, but then again, you know, it will lead me to this. But, but, you know, God will lead me to where I feel happy and feel comfortable with. Not because it's forceful. Not because I feel rushed. You understand? And um, I'm not here. And I wasn't there for the time to be in the, the ECB people be, before... I meet anybody around where I'm at. I follow God before. 
Now, I got close to you know, some doors, and I have. That's why you don't see me rapping like I used to. I mean, freestyle here and there, kick it, have some fun. Because, and, and you know, we allow to have some fun, you know, underneath the sun. We all have our free will. And I'm not mad. I'm really not mad. I'm not mad at God. I'm not here fighting against so that I'm not here. That I love God. Sure enough. Now attacks that have you know been brought into a lot, a lot. I fought a lot of demon, the demons and stuff. Go and do it a lot myself, but you know, and um I don't need to steal stuff and stuff like that. You see, God doesn't steal, see? Um but who let, like, you know, people, you know, next door neighbor says their plants be stolen. I don't have need for plants. I don't plant nothing. I don't see their pots where I'm at. I'm upstairs in here. Who plants? You see... God doesn't steal. He doesn't. He doesn't seek to steal, kill, and destroy. That's what the devil does. And what it will be straight up is this. And, you know, God doesn't rush. Love is patient. Don't rush. I'm not rushing. You know, say when I go talk to some people, they rush away. They rush away. I don't need to rush. Perfect love casts out fear. You know, and um, I'm not against the people. I just feel without them. And it's more than just a feeling, though. But I know God is love and unconditional. And... You see, I'm not here to play like I'm a highlight reel because I never did to play highlight reel. I have my mistakes. I have shared my flaws and everything else. Do I have to go where someone and uh, where people are and I just, you know, or where I, it, no. I'm going to feel where I feel welcome that. I talked to God about this. It's a personal relationship, remember? Not forced into something to set people in traps or people in this and that. It's not that. You see, because if God is forced, who could be against? So therefore, yes, I know it's okay to have people that like you, but it's some that hold in deep hatred. Deeper hatred than anything. See me, I'm to, I move on. I'm moving on and everything else. And I'm reading in the Bible. I read it for you. So I preach it and I use, you know, my, I don't play my, my tricks on people and stuff like that. But, um, I mean, I don't, you know, we all have, you know, people, a lot of people do a lot of things. You know what I'm saying? Talk about, you know, Illuminati and stuff. They got me curious. And the Freemasons while preaching the word and, and, and stuff, they got me curious in dreams I had when, you know, stuff like that. But it was not me that has this, you know... Dang, it's just like, 
It's this weird dream that comes at me. When they, when you talk about when people talk about some things, and it just it, it, it worries me. Not worries me because I'm scared of God. You understand? Know because yeah, I fear the Lord, but I trust the Lord. And I have confidence because I know my personal relationship, and He's cleaned me a lot of things, saved my life in many ways. But when it comes to things when you feel uncomfortable, He gives me He gave me discernment. And I'm not ashamed of what God has made me to be. I learn. I mess up. And then there's sometimes, sometimes, it, I, you know, I get gaslighted. I know I'm a target individual and I'm prepared, whatever it is, really. But I don't need to form a weapon because, you know what, they don't prosper. So why would I need to form a weapon and they don't prosper? That's not how I get down. I'm cool with people. Hey, look, if you're not cool with me, I understand, you know, you guys not cool with me, hey, I still got to love you. But I don't have to come. That's the thing. Men have free will. I come to the Lord, the living word, not to use my, you uh, use, you know, uh, you know, the word that when he gives me, I don't abuse it. I use to give. Or a question in discernment. Like, you know, to, to understand like, okay, the, my relationship is very good. And then someone barges in these walls and how these walls are. It really got me. But it, and it looks, it does feel like a setup in a way. For some real reason. And I and I kind of see now how it's all, it looks like it's all state, but see, but the thing is, I didn't do nothing wrong. It's called righteous the per, the persecution the righteousness, and you know, it's okay. And they will say anything about your name to deceive the whole nation, and they'll try to take anybody, you know, and make us look bad. And when he could make us look evil, guess what? Bless the ones that curse because you see, I'm gonna be blessed, and you know, see, I, and, and as well, you know, I'm blessed because they call me evil. I'm not, I don't seek do evil for evil. I had, I don't murder nobody, and I, I don't have, you know, I haven't. I went to work and I come home. They, they, you know, they do a lot of things to attack you. Like this, like I show you on my leg. I don't do that. I I notice things, you know, whatever. But soon later, you guys are going to, whoever stuck with me, I, I want to let you know, it doesn't matter to me. And the reason why it doesn't matter to me, because the earthly things don't matter. You know what really matters is to higher things up. I pay attention. I do that. And, and I, you know, hey, some people might have, you know, uh, more following whatever but does the really the following really matter not really now do I have to sugarcoat you anything absolutely not have I been cursed a lot and been cursed? look and, and they retaliate in such a way you know and 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 I can feel the key going on because my you know my heart feels attacked that's not love at all. I know a relationship with God when I see it. And I have prayed in tears in Christ. Now, do they hear? Because you see, in the everyday society, do you know those camp, those red lights over there? You can tell that they record and they do all kinds of stuff. And I could show you the camera on your smart TVs. Every smart TV you have. Do I mind? Hey, look. Okay. If I, and if I sell it, you know what I'm saying? You know, I'm not going to sell my stuff to people that already have cars and stuff like that. And I have gave, you know what I'm saying, too. But, hey, I don't mind doing it again and again and again. Sell it. You know, I won't give it to people that are, you know, saying around that has cars. No, 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 no. But guess what? Got to have people to help, right? But then they want to see people in poverty. 
right? What about um, not having the poverty? You see what I mean? Because now you guys, now you guys are gonna, you know, guys preach about, oh, you shouldn't be in poverty, you know, and, and, and you're right. He's here for the poor, the sick. But you have more money than me already. You got a car. You guys got money to support you and your family. You got TVs, houses, and everything else. I'm in an apartment, one bedroom apartment with nobody helping me. Not a thigh when I was helping, you know. And then the case would be in other the places I've been in. And, you know, I just have a PS4. Uh, handing down TV, you know, another TV, whatever. And then I'm going to have to sell again, you know, and whatever case may be, and or whatever. And I'm always continue doing that. You may not see it, but what's the difference between you and I? If you, you hire me, hire, you know, you know and, and it makes sense, right? It makes sense, right? I'm so, you know, this, and people attack me and I, by every single day, alone in the room. And, and like, like even there was another pastor with you, tell you, get to know your character. Well, my character, you see, my character, you, all you do is catch this. You'll see this right in front of you. Oh, and I don't mind sharing because guess what? You don't think I'm going to do or the word or you think I'm some hypocrite or whatever the case may be. I mean, try to use my imagination against me. But I want to tell you something. My faith will move mountains always. And I want to tell you this. Another thing before you think I'm such, you know, hey, I always love God. You know what I'm saying? That's my obsession. And it's turning to my obsession because, look, I don't just play video games and sit down and be lazy because I was working in 9 to 5 running guys in front of your faces. And this is another reason why when you share your sin or whatever your case may be, that's the reason why there's an upside to what I did personally. Not because someone told me to make me a character or a celebrity. I'm not trying to do that. I care less about being a celebrity. I make this, but you know what I'm saying? I did it myself without trying to make it whatever case may be. It's more than just a story. It's a life. It's a lifestyle and everything else. And a lifestyle, the relationship with God. And understand, and it says, I loved you at your darkest. Romans 5.8. I'm not here to attention grab seek, but there's times I did um, fast on social media. There was times, you know, seven, and it's right there on YouTube. I hope they did not delete it because they, you know, because they've been a half. Because then, you know, tell the truth to shame the devil. Now, I know it, it, it was there, but you know what I'm saying? But they'll do that to you. They will do anything to you. So, therefore, in reality, though, Bogat sees everything. He's the truth, and he'll tell you, you know, and, and, um, and he's the truth. Relationship. See, I make notebooks. You know, I take notes. You don't think you don't think I don't do that? I like no, I do. You know, I study without you know whatever. I have a relationship, personal relationship. It's about a personal relationship with God before any human. You know, and human at all. Period. You know, what I'm saying, oh, I, I've done this. I post this before. I have proof. You want to see? I'll do it again and again and again. There is. I should not be ashamed of my father or be offended. I'm not offended. But I'm to tell you right now, I won't be bold. I'm gonna always be firm, and that's it. I don't have to raise my voice. I don't have to do none of that. But the enemy will be mad because guess what? They can stay mad because I'm not doing evil for evil. You call this you call this evil? Well, I don't know what to tell you because guess what? You call this evil? I don't know. What to tell you it's right there in the my face. Before I came here, it just came here before I moved in here. And then when they want to um, plot and, you know, tell them that lust, I have no time for porn. I have no time to lust. I don't, um, I don't really go out much because there's nothing to do around here. But I'm not being a highlight reel because you've seen I have messed up. But hey, look, I fix. I fix. I'm, I, hey, I, I do this stuff in front of your face. I'm not mad. And I, that, why would I get mad if people don't show up? When I ask, okay, why don't you come down? Since you are so affiliated with this, and why don't you say hi? Don't be rude. Say hi. You know what I mean? Every time. Don't come at me because, oh, I ain't correct. That, that, no. No. I go out. I, I put the Bibles down there on the bench. You want some more? But you're not. You, you know what I'm saying? I'm the same. 
I just, I mean, I, I went downside at the park one time, laid down a bit. Someone stole my wallet. You want to see something else that's really kind of funny, though? Because, you see, I want to show you something. See, original, I, uh, uh, so, so you wanted my social security number? That don't matter no more. Because guess what? In the doctor's office, it don't matter no more. They said, they, they, they told me they don't matter no more. But I'm the same, though. Because they have, you know, long or even numbers. But you see, this is paper. You see, I had to get, you know, because someone stole my the thing. They stole my ID. They did. I had to get a replacement. I had to get a replacement. Now, if you want to, and, and if they if they add lie, you know, they the, they lie about they didn't, you know, whatever the case may be. You know what happened to them? Because God, you know, saying God is a lot of truth. And would tell the truth to shame the devil. See, now, when I was at the park, you know, a group of kids. They stole my idea. I don't have the steel wallets. Why would I need steel wallets for? I still haven't got that yet. People are so lazy, they sit around, it's best in and checks. This and that checks. This and that money. This and that money. That's how you're balling. I didn't get mine yet. The taxes that I had. And I'm not mad. I'm not mad. Because you see, it's not that money part. It's not that. I could care less. Because I started working, you know, right back and I still didn't get it. They should have already been to my address and all. They should have been given to me because it was direct deposit. But what I'm saying is, because I worked hard for that, and then the tax too, I don't care if it's $100. You know what I'm saying? 100, you know, I, I, what I worked for at least. But you know what I'm saying? But they don't want to do that. It's the same thing. This, is, this has not changed. The God has not changed, and Jesus never changed. He's always been the truth. But when they when he stole my wallet, guess what? They ne never returned it. You know, saying I don't have no, and, and it was wrong of them. And I prayed for that kid, and I was praying because and, and what they they, they 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 you know. I stopped smoking cigars. Last time I smoked a cigar, a real deal cigar, was, I would say, on my birthday last year. Like those real deal brown cigars. Maybe Christmas. Maybe. I don't remember. Yeah, maybe uh, one cigar. Maybe, yeah, I did. Actually, you know what? Take that back. Yeah, Maybe. I think so, cause I, I don't remember. But still, I, I, the last time I smoked, period, was Christmas. So I'm not sure if it was a cigarette that my mom gave me, or it was once the garden my uncle gave me. I forgot when that was, but I just know that definitely for sure that Christmas was the last time that I smoked. And regardless, you know. How do I feel about, you know, like I always tell you about a vaccine. The other day is a mark or not. I care less. I'm not taking it. I have faith in my Lord. Why would I need that if I don't have sickness? And I went to the doctors, you know, with the vaccine thing. See, I have confidence in my Lord. If you have confidence in your Lord and know exactly what's really going on, it's not COVID. It's this chemical warfare that they have. That makes you sick. It's this pandemic chemical warfare. It's that what started the whole thing. You know, if you really go down the timeline, the whole pandemics and all of this, what the setup was, you know, then you kind of will see why you had your mask on. It'll be a surprise you a little bit. 
we could do that too. And I'll tell you that, that that's real stuff. And it, you know, and the pandemics and all that, and the, you know, whatever case may be in wars and you know, wars and everything else, chemical warfare is real. They have trails and mix. And when you fear, and guess what? When you fear, it opens up your, your pores and everything. And that's how you get sick. But I'm not, you know, sick. I went to the doctors, and I'll tell you what, they said I'm fine. And blood pressure, too. And everything else was good. I'm healthy. You now, I stay to myself because the reason why I don't go out there much, because of that, of what's going on. Because I'm not trying to get, hey, I just do me. Respect, hey, do my part. But not polluting the air, smoking cigarettes. You know, the cigarettes that people smoke, you're polluting the air anyways. You're taking the, 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 the whole oxygen and you're getting you're sick yourselves. You're polluting your bodies. You're killing your brain cells. We too, you, you smoke weed. Oh yeah, you think it's that, but it's not supposed to be smoked. You're polluting the air. You're polluting the oxygen. But it's not yet. all of that stuff. That's the reason why everything's going to be going there because of asses and all of that stuff. And people partying, smoking, drinking, getting married, knocked up and everything else. And that's why everything is going to turn into fire because you're smoking, drinking, all of that, putting aero chemicals, everything else. I'm not doing that. I'm sober-minded. I'm not drinking. You want to see what I drink? I drink this. Yes, I'll drink juice here and there if I were to drink something. Yes. But I'm not drinking liquor. I can't. Look, I'll see a cigarette on the floor. Hey, I squashed it and I'll rip it up because I know it's a temptation, but I didn't take it. Because I don't have to taste that. I don't longer smoke. I don't smoke. I don't need it. I'm not going to help pollute the air. Or destroy my body temple that God gave me. And go to church and then smoke. And, get, and, get, and then blow someone's face. That's mad disrespectful. And God sees that. That's why I'm not going back either. Just because you think, oh, I'm so this and that. I don't have to play highlight reel in front of somebody and then, then no. When you go to church, you should be welcomed. Now, do I have anything against somebody preaching? No. I'm going to let you do what you're preaching how you want to. But me, I'm going to go to a church where I'm welcomed. Right off the bat. See, because I, when I go up to heaven or something like that, I'm going to be welcomed in his arms. Unconditionally. Love. Not hatred and say, oh, you're a guest. Or barely know my name. He knows my name. He told me I did not choose him. He gave me life and breath when I was born. You didn't give me breath. Y'all didn't. And I didn't give you breath. God did. God did. And I'm not trying to take you guys' breaths. Because I'm not trying to kill you. But what I'm trying to tell you is God is love. Now, you call it love when I first get in it. That's not love. That right off the bat, that shows you it's not love. Do I, am I against you? Nah, why would I be? I have no time. You see, because you see, you can love by words. But people show all the time. Very rarely they come. Maybe they come because, oh, they think that, you know. And maybe sometimes, you know, they do love and they be, hey, it's okay. 
but it's very rare. You ever rarely see someone come to my house. First time for longest, you know what I'm saying? People start to come, and I get it. I understand, but people now see what, I understand how I feel about, you know, feel about like, dang, like, you know, the people come, but you, I do show love. I preach the word. I shared the gospel. I said about the word, the devil done. I said how God, God, God is, show how he's helped me from a far away before I was skinny. Now I'm, you know, and now, but even though I'm big, bigger bone, but I got in a wreck. I got in a wreck. And guess what? No one really helped me out to get up and, you know, saying, but yes, there's people, yeah, the elders helped me out when I was first here. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I, I love my elders because, see, I love my Alvarito before. You know, because she passed, you know, I love her, you know, I think there and stuff. Um, I think my grandparents have this single day, you know, and I, you know, when they, they always gave me and my uh, brother money, you know, I love my grandparents, and not because they gave us money, but took me to the park. The most meaningful memories is going to the park, you know, and I swing a, a baseball bat over the roof, home run. God was there. I know what loving like grandparents is. And they give your children money in there. And, it, and it's because they love. And I'm not against people making money or not. I'm not against that. Neither was. But I ripped in from your face just because to show you, don't let it control you. You shouldn't let a piece of paper control you. And I don't have piece of paper or nothing. I don't. I just have quarters to wash my laundry. And it's hard to get that. And again, I know the times it is and everything else. But also out of balance because no man, no woman knows the hour. But guess what? I ain't getting nobody knocked up and married just because I want to see a whore because I'm not a whoremonger. I'm not pillow talking nothing like that. I'm not. Because every single day they said, oh, I lived on social media. Okay. Well, evidently, I have nothing to hide. When have you seen me with a female? Because I would like to know where that female is. If there was a female, where's she ducking hiding from? Where's she at? I would like to know because I don't have children. But eventually, I will love to have children. I will love to have a good godly wife, a king of marriage. But guess what? I have self-control. Because who I put first? God. I don't watch porn and jack off. I show you screenshots. What more evidence do you need? Father, truth to tell you that I don't watch it. No porn now. If someone in my, you know, just bell tacked uh, before tacked me before, because they know she know full well that I'm not here trying to watch porn. That porn, you know, you know, whatever the case may be, I haven't watched porn from, you know, for months. Unless you, unless you really did, you somebody did come in and they raped me and they don't want to come clean about it. Other than that, oh, I don't sleep with nobody. I actually want to wake up and sleep with somebody. If I had a wife, I'll treat her right. I wouldn't just look at my phone and leave her hanging alone in the bed or anything else. Go out cheating. I wouldn't go out and do all that. I don't have the car. Anyways, first place, I can't. And I understand. They don't want me. They want money or cars, whatever the case may be. They want a man that has a million dollars. All of a sudden, why can't you work as a team? Do it right. Or don't get married at all. I'm not going to apologize for loving God or being a believer. I'm not going to apologize because I don't believe in abortion. 
I'm not going to apologize because I am a man. I have a penis. Sorry if you don't like it. I don't know what they call it in the Bible. But I'm just trying to tell you. I'm a man that was born in this in this world to multiply with a female, to have babies. I'm not the one to stop your marriages. I don't mind you have, being married. But if you're going to complain about your marriage, oh, you know, why is it breaking up? Well, you wonder why. It's probably because of money. That's probably the main issues. Guarantee it. Because, you see, I feel like if a woman could get, be picked up by pickup lines to sell, you know what I mean? If she could get be picked up by pickup lines, she's too easy. And most of the time, they are. And that's not how you should be able to pick up a female. You shouldn't have touched somebody's wife at all, period. Or somebody's relationship that could be built. You don't interfere that. Mess with your own. You whoremonger. I don't care if you have a wife. Don't go out looking for single women. I mean, it's okay. I mean, and the Bible says you have five wives. But still, but if you are, if you cheating wise, no. If you're in a solid marriage or you're in a relationship, that woman should know better. And that man should know better. Ain't nobody more guilty or innocent than the other person. Women lie and men lie. And I'm not the only, you know what I'm saying? If I have, sent, you know, have made mistakes in life, I'm not the only one. The only difference is you hide it. I don't. Why? Because guess what? I haven't found the right fellowship, but anyways, anyhow, and I, did, hey, I didn't waste my breath. I told about my sins that I'm, hey, look, before... Not scared, and there's and I take I basically take responsibility right for your very eyes, so that therefore I don't hide anything. But technically, you see me being growth. You seen how firm I get. Cause I'm like, you seen how I I could become blameless, and if you don't see me be doing the word. I don't know what to tell you because. Oh, that's all I basically. I don't even. Have, you see, the, the the games are not even on. TV's not even on. It's it, it's broad daylight. Now I'm being lazy. I've been doing something else. You don't even know why because I don't show you everything. But I'm I'm pretty much on here a lot of times. But I don't have to hide. I preach the word. If you don't listen, that's on you. Doesn't mean I do my part. Doesn't mean, see, what God led me to, that's what God led me to. Like, if I drop uh, the plant seeds, look, I guess God let me do the, that way. He wants me to, but it's still doing part of the kingdom. The planting seeds, and that's what mountains move. Or have faith and pray. I have prayed and prayed. I have. He's heard my prayers. He's heard my cries. He's all done all of that. Am I angry, upset, uh, anybody? No. Am I trying to seek, kill, destroy? No. I have the two in my own, uh, own zone. Being spent time with the Lord. I do go out. And anyways, it doesn't really matter if you're here to let, hey, it doesn't matter i'm here and i still pray and i still do my do my job like a, a, a work at home type deal now you see you could try to work at the lord got some job and then tell me oh i'm lazy but can't do that because remember i was on here and at family dollar so therefore don't call me lazy no i just decide you know what maybe you know and this say you know can't split the baby and the God at the same time. So, I mean, maybe I, you know, get, you know, do better by doing this. Do, doing the word, preaching the word, or sharing the word. It, you know, it, it, it doesn't matter. I'm getting fat off of this. And I'm not better than the next. Like I said, we all fall short of his glory. Do I know it all? No. Am I being wise in my eyes? No. Am I being wise as like wise like a serpent, harmless like a dove? Maybe so. Am I being toxic? No. How can I when I'm actually giving you the word and the truth? 
How am I over here holding grudges? Because I'm not even near, but I forgive. And I just, just clearly step my guy. I know people get upset, okay? But I don't hold no two-face. I'm not two-facing. I don't need no mask. Why? Because I'm not even out there. Don't need for it. Hey, look, I have good high, uh, the, the good blood pressure, and I have good, and the and, and, and enemy gets mad because they tried to attack. I showed you that. The enemy tries to attack, they get mad. Why? Because evidently, I am doer the word, and they're mad. They be, be mad. Wherever the realm at, God is always there. Same as usual, right? It's just another level, right? But am I f deceiving nobody? Am I holier than thou? No. Same as always. But difference is, you know, yes, I have changed. You know what I mean? But the, the way how it's gonna, no, I'm gonna always be firm. I'm not mad. I'm not cursing at you. I'm not. You see, you know how I I have, I stopped. You know, with the tongue in the bedroom. This with the tongue. You notice that? Yeah, I'm not perfect by any means, but you know, I get these. These sometimes the attacks that you you feel that, you know, inside and out because it's a spiritual warfare. They're gonna. They, hey, I'm telling you, we. But guess what? It gets real once you're alone with Christ. Come to the real battle zone. To your own room to yourselves. When you focus mainly on Christ and nobody else. Yeah, I read social media. But you see, you're not supposed to be focused on these earthly things. I could care less about what shoes come out that's so, you know, say I pay attention. Your music, go ahead. That's your profession. Go ahead. But you can't hate me and cop bought me and everything I do. No, I'm just doing my part. But you worry about what's the next top shoe and what they do. I don't do evil for evil. I don't need to be part of it. I see it. I know what's going on. I pay attention, but really just shake my head and, okay, that's nothing to do with me. You're already preaching the words, honey, about it. It's already been said, and, you know, and I system about it. But see, but do I need to wear it? No. Do I, I don't have to. Now, see, I just need to I do what I need to do. I'm not bothering you. And like I said, it, you know, I'm not judging. I listen to God. Understand that. I'm not hating nobody. I'm not fussing you out. Not judging what you think. you It's free will, right? Okay. So, therefore, I'm in a relationship with God. And, you know, whatever case may be, God's truth and he loves me. He will never forsake me. But am I mad? No, I'm not mad. Not mad at all. God comes first before you, before me, before you. He, you know, He comes first. He's first and last. So that's who, that's the, the, He's my Lord and my Savior. And you know, I gotta have trust in Him before anybody, right? Pretty much so. But do you guys listen to this stuff? I don't know. You can if you want. That's all on you. But like I said, thank you, the, you know, the, and thank you for the support. At the, you know, but really, it's all glory to God. And 
you notice that I stopped the kind of rapping because I don't have the, you know, and I don't need it. I told you I don't. If I do make music, I said it'll be in, in this blessing my place, so, you know. But I preached the word and you can't say I didn't because I've said these the main times and I put scriptures on the air and it's called Iron Shepherd's Iron and you know whatever case may be and I'm not just talking about company names or anything I just it is I guess it does what it does but am I here to hurt somebody? No it is what it is I'm not hiding you're gonna hate me you're gonna love me but doesn't matter. Just doing my part. Like, like you do yours. So, I don't know what's evil about it. If God is for us, who could be against? That's all I gotta say. Much love, stay prayed up, and God bless.